Alright, I'm at the pumping station. You gotta be careful here because there's a couple witches already in here. You gotta wait for them to disperse, because if you try to sneak underneath this door, they, uh... If you try to sneak underneath that door, they're right there and they'll see you. They have a pretty good, um, sight range. Uh. One problem is they teleport. It's usually not cheap, but it's very random when they teleport. <clears throat> so it's important to kind of, like, get an idea of when they will do it. There's one. See, I lost the other one. There's one there. And there's one up top. They certainly make these enemies a little trickier, that's for sure. Here we go. And then all that moaning you hear, there's a bunch of weepers, like, underneath, underneath this room. They're, like, all down in the ducts and stuff like that. These women are weird looking. They got these little hats on. They're all, like, covered in vines and shit. And they always have, like, thorns and, like, rose bushes, like, adorning themselves. Very strange. It's cool character models, that's for sure. This one's gonna be a little trickier. Go, which go? <clears throat> Zander. Okay, cool. Easy, easy. There we go. can't climb when you're carrying someone. You can't climb over the edge. I don't think there's anyone else down here to see her. Uh, I'll just hide her up. Hide her over here. And there's, there's nothing to loot off them. They use these weird looking swords. And nothing else, really. Shit. I don't remember where that is. Ah! Of course. It's with the Weepers. Every game needs a zombie, right? <laughs> oh, I'm full. There we go. Alright. Now, I don't want to touch any of these guys. I don't want to, like... Yeah, I don't want to have to, like, knock him out, carry him around. There we go. I think we're good. Weepers are pretty stupid, so... I think we're good. Do this. There's like you have to clear what's blocking the wheel. There's like a vine. Gotta be careful though, because when you swing your sword, it makes noise. Okay, I might actually have to knock this guy out. Yeah. 
Shit. 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 I didn't see that guy. Okay, he didn't see me either. Damn. Whoop. Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna move. He's just gonna kinda sit here staring at the wall for puking. But I don't want him turning around when I, uh, when I swing my sword. Because if it makes, like, a clinging sound, he'll be like, what? Who's there? There we go. I should be fine now. And the other side. Come on, man. Don't make me get down there with the Weepers. They're nasty. They're kind of scary, too. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's see here. So this one isn't as easily... Okay. Alright. It was different the last time I did this. So, go figure, right? So tricky. I think there's another one just facing away. Yeah, he's just facing away, that one right there. This one walks this way a little bit, so I'll just wait for him to turn. Nope, he's good. I love it. She had a lightning bolt. Like, what the hell? She had, like, amazing peripheral vision. Like, get the hell out of here. I didn't even land anywhere near her. Okay, she should be good, though. I really fucking hope rats don't come through here. Get Mumbly Joe over here out of the way. I'm just gonna leave him down here. I don't see any rats down here. Oh, and rats don't even eat weepers. I forgot about that. They won't eat them. There we go. She's got the water flowing. Now to go get that engine coil. I don't actually know if you can go through these doors. Huh. I don't remember going this way. Not to say it's the wrong way or anything like that, but I just don't remember going this way. Find something new every day, I guess. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Nothing's gonna happen. One second here, let me see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so it's got no power. It said it nearly came off its drive shaft, but I don't know how. It's not. That's not working. Alright, let me see here. There's gotta be a way. If I can power it and turn it on, I bet you it'll just blow right off. There we go. I love this game. You look around a little bit, you'll always find a way out. Now I bet you when I turn it on, it's just going to go ping, fly right off. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was neat. Okay. Oh, there was um 
rune in here somewhere. Or, okay, or there wasn't. Oh, here we go. I had himself a little, little outsider shrine. You're putting it together, aren't you? It's not easy. Delilah is exceedingly bright. Her coven is rising, with her as the night star to guide them. Change is coming, and Delilah has a plan. But do you, Dowd? And I don't mean stealing an engine coil or slitting an old man's throat. <laughs> You're charging upriver, and I do believe you'll make it. But what will you do with what you find there? I still don't understand the route they took with his character design. He more um, he. <laughs> I just laugh because it's just such a weird character design. It should have been like an old man, or hell, even an old woman. I don't know. Um, he looks like the revamped version of the of Dante from Devil May Cry, from that the the newer one, uh, the one that came out in 2013. And I know people are very divisive over that uh, character design. I'm not a Devil May Cry fan, so I'm not going to weigh in on it. <laughs> but I know some people hate it, some people don't care, some people love it. But that's what he looks like to me. He looks a lot like the newer Dante, and it's just it doesn't really evoke power to me. It's just like. Give me someone wise and old and ancient. Just because just you give someone black eyes doesn't mean they're like all wizened. Anywho. Just my two cents. Okay, I should still be good to roam around, so. It just auto saves, so if I get spotted or whatever, I'll just. Yep, we're good. We are good. <coughs> nice suspenders. Look at this freaking... Look at this pansy. Calling me out. He's wearing suspenders. Do this. It's done, but I don't think you'll see your men again. Caesar <laughs> <laughs> says a deal's a deal. The code is three, eight, seven. Okie dokie then. The way the geezer looks uh, reminds me a lot of, uh, or I should say, like his uh, his state, his physical state reminds me a lot of Mr. House from Fallout New Vegas, like being kept alive by any means necessary for as long as possible. It's messed up though. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I gotta go uh, down. So over here, I think. I get a little lost in this place. I I forget that like there's several flights of stairs and yeah, I think I'm on the right path 387 387 there we go Reminds me of the old bike lock I used to have for my, my bike when I was younger. You twist these little there we go. Twist these little knobs and it would slide out. Give me this. Yes. What a chunk of metal and wiring. If this gets me closer to Delilah's throat, so be it. Yeah. <laughs> I will kill that bitch. <laughs> Just looking for more money makers. Alright. Head out the front door and head back to the riverfront. I should be good to go the whole way. Here's the water wheel. She's a turning.
it's kind of funny when you don't have to um, travel solely by the rooftops. It's just you running. It, it almost I'm feels fighting. like... wonder how long that will last. <laughs> the fighting has stopped. It almost takes longer when you're running because, like, you know, it it's definitely, like, an easier way. You don't have to look for little, like, points and stuff to, like, blink to. But, um, I don't know. It just feels feels weird running sometimes. It's obviously more boring, that's for sure. It's, it's always more fun zipping along the rooftops. It feels weird not fighting them. More time for business. We need to start moving goods again. Gonna get rich, get old and fat, start going to parties at the Boyle Sisters. <laughs> yeah, the Boyle Sisters love that. All right, let's head off to the riverfront, and uh, should be the end. Okay, I've had to reload and load several saves, uh, trying to um, figure out a way to do this because I, I don't know if it counts against me. But when you put the engine coil in, um three or four Brigmore witches show up and they start a big fist of cuffs on the on the friggin deck of the boat uh, with the dead eels and uh, I don't and what happens is if you don't move at all they end up spotting you and fighting you I, I don't want to fight them because I could end up killing them that's just gonna ruin my my playthrough uh, I think it also counts against being spotted so the idea is to put this in and then let them try to duke it out amongst themselves and I guess hope for the best careful with the coil. Plug it in the engine, and we'll put this place behind us. All right, easy does it there, sister. You are the source of adventure. Look out, there's doing good so far. Oh. Okay, that's it. Cool. Huh! <laughs> that's it. Bleed out, you bastard. They're so weird looking. Their legs like they're made out of tree trunks or something. Really weird. All right, let's do this. Please do the honors down. Fire up the engine from the bridge. Get us underway. With pleasure. Go to Brigmore Manor. Let's see how I did. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it shows a dead or unconscious body found, which I assume doesn't count against that, because I still have Ghost, and I didn't kill anyone. Uh, chaos is low. And I found all the corrupted charms. Nice. I always miss a rune and a bone charm or two, but cool. All right, I'll have the next part up, the uh, the last mission. It'll probably split up into um, a f probably at least two or three parts, but uh, Brigmore Manor is the last mission. So once again, if you liked it, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, because I I'm gonna keep playing it. I'm gonna finish it up, and uh, I check out my other videos. I'm I'll be playing games throughout the year as they come out. Thanks for watching.